How to connect forward and reverse direct online. We have red phase, blue phase, black phase, yellow for ground. Before we go forward, quickly understand this examples. If we have motor connection like this, and when it get power it running forward. To run it in reverse, the terminal connection have to be swapped like this. And if it power it will be running in reverse. Let drive into the main processing. For power, we have motor starter. Two contactors for forward and reverse. And lastly the motor. For control, we have two poles breaker. Emergency push button, stop push button, and two start push button, which the F is forward and the R is for reverse. Now let's start the wiring. Red phase is connect to motor starter L1. Blue phase to motor starter L2. Black phase to motor starter L3. Motor starter output T1 is connect to forward contactor input L1. Motor starter T2 to forward contactor L2. Motor starter T3 to forward contactor L3. Forward contactor input will be looped to reverse contactor input. In L3 to L1. L2 to L2. L1 to L3. Then the output of forward contactor will be connect to the reverse contactor output. In T3 to T3. T2 to T2 and T1 to T1. Reverse contactor output will be connect to the motor terminals. In T3 to W1, T2 to V1, T1 to U1, and Earth to it terminal. To connect the motor in delta terminal connection, use this step connections. U1 to W2, V1 to U2 and W1 to V2. For the control connections, neutral to the poles breaker, and it output to the both A2 terminals of forward and reverse contactors the life to the poles breaker and it output to the emergency push button input emergency push button output to the stop push button input stop push button output will be split to the both forward and reverse start push buttons inputs the forward start push button will be connect to the input nc terminal of the reverse contactor and the output nc terminal of the reverse contactor will be connect to the a1 terminal of the forward contactor the retaining contact will be connect from the output terminal of the stop push button to the no input terminal of the forward contactor. And the NO output terminal of the forward contactor will be connect to the A1 terminal of the forward contactor. Loop from the retaining contact line source and connect it to the NO input terminal of the reverse contactor. And the output NO terminal of the reverse contactor to A1 terminal of the reverse contactor. Reverse start push button output will be connect to the NC input terminal of the forward contactor. And the output NC terminal of the forward contactor will be connect to the A1 terminal of the reverse contactor. With this steps the wiring's connections have been connect successfully. Now let try out the simulator. I click on forward start push button and the motor start running in forward mode. I click the reverse start push button and the motor did not stop or change it running mode. This happen all because in the wiring connection the both forward and the reverse contactors is being interlocks. In which means that they cannot both run at the same time. For how to interlock contactors check the description below for the watch link. I click on stop push button and the motor stop immediately. I click on the reverse start push button and the motor start running in reverse mode. I click forward start push button, nothing impact in the motor operation systems. I click on stop push button, and the motor stop. I click on both forward and reverse start push buttons at a time, and see what happen. The contactors that firstly receive the command will be the run mode of the motor. Please check the description below to see some important information. See you in the next video.